Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars. And you're not going to believe this about Cruz. He's a member of some weird religious cult. Uh, this is an evangelical Christian cult. Uh, they say it's actually a blasphemous one. I, that's religion. Uh, he can be a part of any religion he wants. I don't care. Because, according to the Constitution, it doesn't matter. There's no religious requirement. That's a fact. Anyway. So Ted Cruz believes he's an anointed king to bring about the end of time's wealth transfer. Well, that sounds familiar. Uh... Who's always talking about wealth transfer? That would be liberals. That's why he gets a liberal update. Raphael Cruz, was, as his father indicated, his son was among the evangelical Christians who were appointed as kings to take control of all sectors of society, an agenda commonly referred to as the Seven Mountains Mandate in the spring bring the spoils of war to the priests, thus helping bring about prophesied great transfer of wealth from the wicked to the righteous genteel believers. That sounds too much like liberalism to suit me. That's his father speaking, but apparently he's, you know, following in his father's footsteps, as they say. I charge thee, therefore, before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and dead as appearing in his kingdom. Second Timothy 4, 1, King James Version. Ted Cruz press people will tell you innocently that he's born again. Christian, he may well be, but Ted Cruz is also a member of a strict fundamentalist branch of the Southern Baptist Church but also has deep roots in the Dominionist theology and charismatic Pentecostalism of his father. His father, Raphael Cruz, is a noted de Dominionist, Dominionist preacher. One of the doctrines he preaches is the charismatic prosperity heresy of something called the end times transfer of wealth. This is not found anywhere in the Bible. And in fact, it is deployed by the Christian charismatic movement to get their people to tithe at a higher level. This is a type of Christianity that is found in the Cruz household. Uh, so... I have to say this looks like trouble. Dominion theology is also known as Christian Reconstructionism and Theonomy. Dominion theology states that Biblical Christianity will rule all areas of society, personal and corporate. Christian Reconstructionism reasons that society will be reconstructed by the law of God as preached in the Gospel and the Great Commission. The enemy is post-millennial view that all moral laws contained in the Old Testament are yet binding today. The misguided Dominionists believe that they have been anointed and chosen to bring in the kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ. This heresy is not found in the Bible. The Bible says in Revelation that the kingdom will only come when the King Jesus Christ returns the second coming and it will not happen in one moment for his return of Jesus Christ. Alright, well that's getting into religion. I just want to point out this sounds a lot like uh, some form of liberalism. Transfer of wealth and the control you can look up Dominionism for yourself. I wasn't able to make it. 
I wasn't able to make head or tails on it, to be honest with you. It's religion, I'm an agnostic. I'm just concerned, like I said, this looks like some kind of liberal uh, theology mix.